at a stage where this is a, a Paul Revere moment uh, here again in America. Danger is coming. I think once you have a buoyant candidate who feels comfortable doing the so-called pivot on substance, where he's gotten so many people giving him the advice, solicited and unsolicited, from both sides of the aisle to pivot on style. Has the party been reshaped from the bottom, in essence, mm -hmm. as I believe it has in Donald Trump's case? Donald Trump is doing great, and the reason is because the voters see a binary choice between Donald Trump, who's a true leader, Donald Trump is offering fresh ideas, and Hillary Clinton has failed at everything she's ever done. Birtherism is not a policy, so it, this is not... This is apples and oranges. Wait, 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 group. wait. First, there is still no amnesty. Secondly, he's building that wall. That has been the centerpiece of his candidacy and his immigration vision from the beginning, and it has not changed one inch. And what he has said now is that he will look at that, but he wants to look. The softening is more approach than policy, Chris. He hasn't changed his position on immigration. He's changed the words that he is saying. What he has always said from the beginning <laughs> that be is that he does not... <laughs> Donald Trump has never said anything bad about Mexico. He said that we don't want illegal immigrants in this country. We want to have a country. We want to have a border. Wait, wait, wait. Donald Trump raised the issue of his Harvard transcripts, and I just simply said, has those, have those ever been released? Yeah. And the question was, did he get in as a U.S. citizen, or was he brought into Harvard University as a citizen who wasn't from this country? You have a first black president who injects himself in local issues, particularly when it comes to police, and now we have this problem. He's the tradition of the Republican Party is that we are a colorblind party in a colorblind country. 
That is not the tradition of the Democratic Party, which has successively, on the record, supported slavery, segregation, lynching, the Ku Klux Klan. That's not what this is about. Wait, 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 wait. How is Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton's mass incarceration of black Americans working out for you? Donald Trump has spoken to the LGBT community throughout his lifetime and, and throughout his candidacy. When the horrible shooting in Orlando happened, he said that ISIS specifically is targeting the gay LGBT community. And I was very pleasantly surprised when I saw that the people in Chicago were rising up against their mayor and against their police chief. Let, let, wait, 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 wait. Let, let me give you an example that has wait, nothing so to do with Donald Trump. Trump. Wait, for doing wait, exactly wait, that. wait, wait. The media and the Democrats have called the Tea Party racist and extremists and Nazis. Should we have them disavow the Tea Party too? Absolutely not. not. We all learned in kindergarten to stand in line and wait our turn. Uh, uh, we well, wait, 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 wait. Where's the beat? Look, 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 look. Excuse me, don't no, touch me. She, don't touch me. Oh, come Excuse me. with your chi. Relax. Wait, 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 wait. I'm speechless because I'm trying to follow your logic here, Katrina, and I'm having a, I'm having a hard time. I can tell. So open up your heart so and let this So open up your heart and so Come on, Donald, this is ridiculous, this is nuts, this is insane. Because what he's been saying is really totally crazy, ridiculous uh, stuff that sh uh, he shouldn't be even... Yeah, nuts. He, totally nuts. I'm sure he'll lie about that also and say that he never did that. But I'm sure President Clinton can either verify it or ignore it, as he probably should. There's never been a plan. He's doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't even know where countries are located. He's so ridiculous. This is because of the Kardashians. I blame the Kardashians for Donald Trump. You realize that it's fun to watch him and his dog and pony show, but it would basically be like um, electing President Gary Busey. It's, I can't uh, deny, though, I am entertained by the man. Yes. You tune in when you hear, oh, there's a new Donald Trump story. You, it's like catnip. You want to hear what's the next thing? What came out of his dumbass mouth? <laughs> it's exciting. It's fun. It's funny. So in a weird sick way, I want him to go further because yeah. I want the show to continue as I eat my popcorn. You know, we go a little crazy during the political season, and it's a very long season. And, uh, you know, this xenophobic, fascist, sort of no Muslims are going to be coming into the United States. That's never going to happen. He 
is a demagogue who seems to appeal to the lowest common denominator. I just wonder if he might lack in diplomacy. I see. And do you think that you think that he is a narcissist? Do you think would you uh, would you say that, that he is a narcissist? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Trump, I recommend to you to read this book. <laughs> Many are openly comparing Donald Trump to Adolf Hitler. Yes. Now. It's pretty common. In fact, New York's Daily News ran this front page earlier this week. Trump is Hitler. And it doesn't get much worse than Trump is Hitler. And I agree with a lot he says, a lot. Like 90% of what he says, I'm like, this guy gets it. Okay. <laughs> but it's just, I don't like the way he says it. It's just, it's crass. Hey, Trump, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>